Hello, my name is uh, Stefano Francesci, a PhD student for 2009. I'm at CERN since uh, three years. Uh, the first years, um, I was um, at CERN like a technical student um, for uh, the Frascati Institute. In Frascati, I did my thesis and um, I found in Frascati with my supervisor Stefano Bianco and Giovanna Saviano a very nice environment uh, where to work and um, I enjoyed a lot doing my thesis. So I applied for this year for a PhD position and um, now I'm here to, to follow my PhD plan that is focused on uh, the um, RPC, um, RPC studies and characterization and um, as well as uh, the uh, studies about uh, the gas closer to the system of the CMS um, experiment. So um, basically, it's um, the the goal is uh, uh, to, um, to, incre to increase the performance of the RPC detector and uh, to um, increase the performance of the gas system itself of, of the moon uh, the moon system. And so, have, has your work very much been hands-on on the experiment, or is it more theory based? Uh, well, the, the activity is uh, um, mostly uh, focused on RPC detectors because, uh, in, as I did in Frascati, uh, about my thesis, uh, uh, we used the, the RPC technology to build uh, um, an online modeling for the CMS experiment based on RPC. So we monitor the working point of RPC detectors to, um, uh, to check uh, the online the, the, the gas quality of the, of the whole the, the RPC mode system. And um, since I was involved in, in, into this project, um, I moved also the interest of, in the RPC um, characterization, so in some simulation and analysis on uh, this uh, detector. And uh, so since this year, uh, my PhD plan uh, with Dr. Chan Sharma, um, we are trying to simulate uh, the, RPC, uh, the RPC detector to, uh, to, to improve the, the performance of this, uh, this kind of detector. So whilst there hasn't been a beam from the LHC, you have actually been able to collect data to help your work with the RPC? Uh, yes, we are waiting the, the beam as a the world and um, also yeah um, uh, when the, there will be the beam uh, uh, all the moon system will be I mean, stressed and uh, we will collect data important data and uh, so the moon system is supposed to be uh, one of the most important uh, sub detector of the CMS experiment what, what does it actually do the, well the moon the moon system uh, it's a part of the trigger system, so uh, we are going uh, to, to catch uh, really the, the moon that came from uh, the, the beam and uh, up to now we just collect data from cosmic moon. That's uh, interesting, but uh, we want to collect data from uh, the beam because uh, we want to keep, we want to, um, to find the, the, you know, the, the explosion, so the moon will be the, the track of the explosion. So I'm waiting to, to also to, to join the, the CMS uh, um, as a shifter because uh, up to now the, the activities 1.5 is uh, almost uh, focused on the cosmic moon, but uh, it will be more interesting to, to collect data, real data from LHC. Which will start in late November, I believe. Yeah, late November, hopefully, and uh, all next year we will collect data. Uh, we are going to we expect we uh, expect uh, something interesting for next year. So I presume you will collect some interesting data that will help your PhD studies. Um, yes, also, but um, uh, it depends on the, yes on what will happen on the um, on the on the behavior on the RPC because uh, you know the, the rate uh, that uh, the RPC detector will be exposed to will be very high because uh, the cosmic moon. As a rate, uh, as a few, uh, the rate is very, it's very low. So when there will be the beam, uh, we will see uh, if we can sustain this, uh, this high intensity rate, and uh, as well, uh, uh, we will see if the closed loop gas system uh, it will work fine or there will be some problem. And what's this system that you've referred to? 
the well, the RPC detectors, it's a gas detector. So the, the closed loop. Closed loop uh, gas system. It's uh, uh, the system that um, supplies gas to the RPC detectors. So since uh, the RPC is a uh, gas detector, uh, most the, the, the uh, most attention has to be paid on the composition of the gas and. Um, the gas has to be also filtered and purified, and um, because uh, the, the gas properties, from the gas properties, it depends on the, the chamber uh, performance. So um, there is a complex system to purify the, 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 the gas, and the gas gain monitoring system, it's an online monitoring um, that takes care of the uh, of this, in, uh, not, not uh, in, um, not in, in, in uh, this system is based on RPC itself, so it's the ideal system to keep on the control of the, the gas. Okay. So your studies, your PhD students will keep you at CERN for another one, two years? Yes, two years. So we'll be here for, uh, for the next uh, two years, since this is my first year. And do you know what you'd like to do after your studies here? Uh, yeah, still not, but uh, I like very much to be in, uh, in the research. So, yeah, CERN was my first job, really. And um, before CERN, I was uh, just studying in my university. So, um, I like very much to be here and to join uh, this uh, research. And um, oh, I hope to be to, to work here also after my PhD. So, you like working at CERN and living in Switzerland? Yeah, yeah. yeah the, um, at the beginning, the life in Geneva was a bit uh, different from my life in Rome, in Roma, because uh, well, I was used to, to live in a big city uh, full of uh, social activities. And uh, in Geneva, Geneva is a bit different in the beginning. Uh, but after, um, I consider Geneva my, my home now. So uh, I'm happy to, to live here. And if you had any advice for young students who are wishing to follow up his, uh, a career in physics and at CERN, what, what would your words of advice be? Uh, what can I say is uh, uh, I'm here, but uh, for example I studied uh, aerospace engineer and uh, astronautical engineer, and now I'm here. So um, uh, what I can suggest is to, to study deeply uh, really, and uh, with uh, passion but uh, not to be focused on uh, something, just to uh, keep the mind uh, uh, open to all the challenges that uh, you can have in your life. Just because uh, the, the science is uh, it's very big and uh, uh, it's important to, to share knowledge between uh, fields very different from each other. Well, that's great. Thank you so much for sharing your experiences, and we wish you lots of luck with your studies and uh, with the data analysis when the beam goes on. Thanks. Thanks very much. Thank you.